Okay, I would like to start by saying that I apologise for last for my last video because it was very long. In fact, it was exactly ten minutes. Um, I seem to say a lot, but not say much at all at the same time. I'm not sure how I managed that. First of all, um, Adam, you broke another laptop. I don't know if it's another laptop, but you've gone through so many, and it isn't fair, but especially considering that's the only thing that you haven't messed around with, you know, like every other appliance that you own is just like modified beyond belief. And that kind of that, that kind of goes back to Daniel saying, talking about, and and Carla talking about this uh, this uh, prioritization of the technology that we have today. And to be honest, guys, I think that when you hang around in the company of the likes of Adam and John and Chris and pretty much all of your year thirteen friends, you're gonna feel that people prioritize technology a lot. They don't. I have no better technology than a PS2. I have a laptop, but that's just necessary. Carla, I liked your video. You said it was rubbish, but I, I did enjoy it. Um, I especially liked uh, the whatever is left of him comment about Charles Darwin and, and your um, explanation of how life occurred. Mix the chemicals and boom! Life of Pierce. I, th I thought that was brilliant. Um, but that that kind of brings me back to this whole religion evolution thing. Um, Daniel said that I didn't explain myself well enough, which is a fair point, as I have already said once today. When I said that I don't believe in evolution that much, what I meant was that it can't. I don't see how it can happen like that if you don't. If without some kind of intervention from some something, okay? God. That is what I'm, what I'm trying to explain here. You know, I've been thinking about Big Bang Theory and God, and I've been doing my research, you know, on Wikipedia. You know, don't say it, Adam, and don't say it, Daniel, because Wikipedia does provide information, okay? I know it's unreliable, but it does provide, provide information. And apparently, the only reason for the Big Bang Theory to have happened, for the Big Bang to have taken place, is that this incredibly dense and incredibly hot, let's call it, collection of atoms and it exploded and that's what created the universe today you know and they can o the only thing that can be explained is you know from the big bang theory what happened from the exact point that it started nothing else can be explained you know the same with god god you know the eternal question why is god here who made god what what is god you know the Big Bang Theory, exactly the same, but no one seems to criticise these two points. Big Bang Theory, no one knows how that happened. You know? And God, to me, makes even more sense. I'm not saying it's it's a fact, but the, God, the theory of God being there, creationism, makes even more sense. Because God created the world for a purpose for a reason, there was a methodical approach to him making the world and the humans to look after them and etc. in his image blah blah blah, you know, it's there was a reason for that the theory of Big Bang, not only is this ridiculously unbelievable no one can actually explain how it came into being you've also got this completely random interchangeable series of events that have created life as we know it and it's not just this tiny little collection of atoms it's a fuck 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 load of atoms okay it's it's you can't even begin to comprehend how how big the universe is and how many atoms there must have been in that original explosion that is why i don't think it makes sense okay maybe the two maybe god made the big bang i don't know you know but people seem to believe the Big Bang Theory because it's science, okay? It's blind belief. Again, people now have faith in science and not in religion, which is fair enough, but, that, but then just not answering the question, you know, just because it's science doesn't mean it's true. Pretty much everything in physics is 
theories, theorise that just happen to make sense. The Big Bang makes sense, but nothing before it does. The same, exactly the same thing with the religion. So it's, just don't believe in science because it says it's science, okay? The same way as a hundred years ago, people would believe in anything as long as you have the, t as long as you have the label of religion. Carl's question. Um, unisex toilets. Yeah. Um, I think that it's not a bad idea. I'm not saying it's a good idea. Or I think, I don't think it makes that much difference. I mean, I'm a guy, so I don't really feel that that off put by it, but. I can understand if someone of the fairer sex would would feel maybe a bit more hey well, what's going on here kind of thing. Um, Daniel, I think you're a bit too traditionalist sometimes. I do love the way that you are so opinionated and traditional at times, but when you think about it, it's you know fifty years ago it would have been unacceptable to have boys and girls on the same stairs. You know, my mum went to a school where, well, they had two stairs in the school and if the girls were caught on the stairs, on the boys' stairs, then they got like, I don't know, like a half hour detention, maybe even longer than that, who knows in them days. The 700 quid for um, PCs and etc. that I that I raised, I mean, my feelings on it is that I'm going to give £700 to these families, but there must be something better to spend this money on. The same, it's the same argument for me at EMA. I'm not against giving them EMA. But why give it straight to the students, hmm? You know, the, these people have mortgages, bills to pay. There's a reason why that they deserve EMA. Surely that money should go towards that, rather than the students' needs. Well, okay, that came out wrong. Because the students obviously have needs, and they should be seen to you. But there are greater needs, like the homeowners have bills and mortgages and all of this stuff that is becoming impos in, impossible to, to do at the moment. It's, in the economic climate, as Daniel described it. Um, I'm going to have to speed up now because I'm running out of time. Daniel, £6 for a wash. Yeah, that is expensive. And I completely agree with you. That is way, way up there, you know. But then you described it as two or three drinks. But you would rather have two or three drinks than wear clean clothes for two or three weeks. I mean, something there just doesn't really add up. Um, and your question on the SATs and the United SATs, I think that they're not completely useless. I mean, obviously, if they were completely useless, then they wouldn't be there in the first place. I, I didn't get stressed out by the SATs, but I don't get stressed in exams, so I don't really see why they should be abolished that much. But they're, they're useful because they to track your progress, you know, where you should be aiming for. I mean, everyone should be aiming for the best that they can be, really. Uh, they help to set the groups, you know, they help for a lot of things. I mean, they say that everyone's stressed out in Year 9 by SATs, but I don't think they are because they don't really care, to be honest. I mean, it's just another day at school, really, when you're in Year 9. I mean, when you, when you get to GCSEs and A-levels, it's a bit different, but SATs is, SATs is not the same, in my opinion. Um, I'm glad that you, you're liking Heroes. Um, I do agree that it is sometimes a bit, you know, segmented, but that's the whole point of Heroes. I mean, if it was just, you know heroes, bad guys, then it would be your conventional Superman program and it wouldn't get very many ratings because it wouldn't be very good. I mean, the whole point of heroes is the way that the heroes cope with their daily lives with these powers, like, you know, Matt with his with his hearing and he, and he, he heard that his wife cheating on him, uh, you know, that kind of thing. That's what the whole program, that's what makes it so good, the fact that it is so segmented. It does get. It does seem like filling a lot of the time, but it's it's good filling. I mean, it's it's not unwatchable, is it? Uh, my question this week is dogs on buses. I got on a bus this morning, and there were these two yobs with these you know fuck ugly dogs that look like they just got hit by a bus or something, and they carried them on, and the driver still let them on because apparently it's just the driver's discretion. I don't know. I mean, if it's a blind guy, then fair enough. You know. It's it's okay because he needs it, okay. But it's just a, put, a lame excuse for them not to bother walking their dog, you know. Anyway, dogs on buses. It's it's simple. It's not a really big subject. It's dogs on buses. Yeah. All right. Well, that's me for this week. So I hope that this will become a regular regular thing. I don't know. Bye. I'm glad you're having a good time at uni, guys. See you soon.